Are they pausing a lot? I mean, this is 50 retrieval. Are we really going to get bites here on 50 retrieval? Uh, I guess that answers that question. Ooh, nice Arctic. So I don't know what's the, is it because of the current so fast? You just don't, you want to keep it moving instead of just completely washing out with the current. Temps crucial at Tunguska. Yeah, I didn't even check. Turkey, thanks for the follow. Uh, yeah, Turkey, I play Fishing Planet just every once in a while. I I'm sure I'll do it again. I enjoy it every once in a while for sure. Yeah, I can make balsa lures, Keeler. Just send me the ingredients. I'm happy to do it. That's true, Ziga. Every small, every um, big chum is a problem if you use small leader. Yeah, good point. But why not? Let's see. Ooh. So let's see if we do a little, like, some little micro pauses in there, if that also works. I'm just trying to figure out why you would use 50. I mean, even 35 is probably fast enough, and then you could do some speed ups if you really wanted to. Or 30 with some speed ups. I don't know. Let's just do some micro pausing here, though. So often it's um, on the drop or the pickup where it seems like fish are. But if you pause, the, the, the lure is getting taken out pretty far. All right, let's try 35 just for fun and then do some speed up. See what that looks like. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it does seem, yeah, I agree. It does seem more common to have high retrieval. I mean, I think a, a lot of that started with just how easy it is to you know, shift reel the um, the different top water and um, you know other lures, but on a spinner bait like this, like this is really curious to me to think about fifty. All right, there are Linux here, obviously. Oh, is that right, Keeler? Is that up by, um, oh, that's just a little, that's up just to, to the left of here, isn't it? That's a nice one. It's a real nice Arctic. Yeah, I'm in E6. But you're just talking about the one that's up, like where you're kind of casting it to the right of that island or whatever. <laughs> People don't have much patience. Yeah, that's that's also a possibility, I suppose. All right, so we're saying if I went to, we'll see, I've got 8.2 line on here, which we could put stronger than that. I mean, this is 8.5. Let's see, we could go to... Um, what have I had on here in the past? Probably 10. And then we could go to kind of don't want the really big, we'll do 9.8. And we don't think this would affect the bite rate much, right? Is that what we're saying? That's a weekly record UL Arctic Grayling. Wow. Yeah, I like this reel. It's uh, the sister reel of the one that I was using, that I normally use actually. Um, 
the Trident Pillar 2, and then I have the original pillar, Trident Pillar, which is this one. Uh, but I like the way that white one looks. I like both of them, really. I don't think you can get this one anymore. I think the two replaced this one, if I'm not mistaken. There's a nice brown trout. And we're probably a little fortunate. I mean, we've got the uh, overcast cloudy and we're using the dark spinnerbait. I mean, this probably makes this an even a little bit better situation. But I think I like this 35 retrieval better than 50. I mean, we were catching fish at 50, but I like to have the option of doing speed up mix it up a little bit, have a little more control of what's happening out there. Yeah, they like the drop. I agree. That's why normally, I mean, I don't know about in this current down here at the end of this river, because I feel like if you get drifting too far, you're, you're not going to, oh, look at that fish chasing it. You're not going to get it, but I normally actually like to just build in a pause right after the speed up. It's another really nice grayling. Should have checked the uh, cafe before swinging over here. Sometimes there's, you know, those grayling orders are pretty, pretty easy. It's a little brown trout. All right, let's switch back to our two. Yeah, do we want to go, uh, after we get tired of this, do we want to go balsa crank at Archie, see if we can get a trophy Xander? like lots of people seem to be doing. We got too far down and got piked. Yeah, Linux from this spot, that's right. Blue tag. I mean, according to the Discord, Discord post, you know, you never know for sure, but. It also appears to have been like in the evening it depends on how long they fought it for, but. Hey, what's up, Hub? I I'm not sure about all that, but I'm glad you caught the stream and you are welcome. Welcome to be here. Thanks for showing up. Over two kilo? Arctic grayling over two kilo, huh? That's going to be interesting. Is that the trophy? I mean, it's not impossible in this spot, I would guess. What's up, Hubble? Oh, 
Oh, there's always other lures working though, Keeler. Don't get sucked into the uh, self-fulfilling prophecy. In fact, somebody in chat may even know. Has anybody fished at Archie lately and caught fish on something besides handmaids? Hijackers, exactly. I knew there was something. Hijackers have been working really well there, too. Yep, thank you, Valentin. Oh, the raptor raptor was good today as well. That's another good another good option. I forget about the raptor. The old raptor. Let's see what's going on in our premiere. can't hear anything I think there was just a um... whoa hold on hold everything catfish with bait you know I have not um, the for the big catfish at least it's just tough to go after them if you're not in the boat it's not impossible, but I, I haven't done a lot of it. No, Raptor's not handmade. You can buy them. Same with the... Um... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Matt. Retrieval speed. Right now, I'm doing 35 with speed up. I was trying 50 at first. It just seemed too fast, but... Hijackers are also store-bought. So, Hijackers and Raptors, two really good suggestions if you're trying to troll Archie without... See, if this fish gets out of this current and decides to just swim down the river there, we may be in, like, real trouble. Oh, nice, Herky. I hope you're not right about the timing, by the way. You don't have to use UL here. You could just do like a light or medium light setup too. And remember, you can also use the, um, if you have it unlocked, you can use the, Golly. what's the name, Ciberlino or whatever. It actually works just about as good. Yeah, we may be in trouble here, folks.
Hey, just imagine if we still had that 6.2 liter on. I mean, we'd kind of be in the same position we are now, but maybe even worse. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a bigger boat as well. If you're fishing primarily for carp, Vinga is unnecessary. If you want to get an all-purpose big reel that you can fish for carp, sturgeon, any of the big fish you want to, then save for the Vinga. If you want to focus primarily on carp, then a Tagara is more than enough. You could even argue that the Tagara is more than enough, but I think it's about right. I mean. I think it's fine. But you will notice a difference. Like if you have the Vinga and you're going for sturgeon, you'll notice the difference. The Vinga will feel worth it at that point. Probably also with like wild carp trophies and crazy current at, at, uh, at, at Octuba, although not as much because normally when you're going for wild carp, you're still limited by the 36 kilo carp lead core. The difference when you go for sturgeon, you're not using a lead core and usually not even a leader. So you're going to get the full strength out of that Venga. Oh goodness, I, I would not get the Everest. Uh, I mean, that's just me. I, I have an Everest, I've used an Everest. You may have had a different experience with it. I would never recommend the Everest over, I mean, at that point, it's just worth it to save for the, for the better stuff to me. Now back in the day, Gold 80, the only thing bigger than the Gold 80 was the Everest. So it's what you had to do. It's not what you have to do anymore, though. Oh, yeah, the Overlord's an also, also a good option. Isn't that one of the Christmas Fair only reels, though? Oh yeah, that's right. The Admiral's weakness is spool size, right? I mean, again, there's lots of options, you know, and I'm not saying I may be wrong about the Everest, but my memory of using it and then also just what I've heard so many players say is that you're better off with some of the newer options. Oh, I like the Avia. I don't know. You feel like the Avia is overpriced? You're getting a huge spool and enough power for carp. I like the Avia a lot. Uh, William Nye, thanks for the follow. Oh, for carp? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure the Everest is fine for carp because, again, I think we've got we're, we're using slightly more powerful reels than we maybe have to. As long as you've got some line to play with. Carp don't typically run that long. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I'm sure you're, I mean, we used to go for, our people used to go for much bigger fish than, than, you know, your typical carp with the Everest. It just, I don't know. I just don't know if it's, if it's as good as some of the more modern reels that they've introduced.
That thing's been around for a long time. Yeah, the HSV is also... Yeah, I see what you're saying. Compared to the HSV caliber, the Avia feels a little overpriced. Yeah, I mean, I think... Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. Uh, anybody is... If you're wanting me to craft a lure, all you have to do is send me the ingredients to craft it, and I will craft it for you. Just tell me what you want. Oh, is that right? What's he been using it for? What's he been using the Everest for? Like for carp? Is he trolling with it? I mean, Amber wasn't out back then yet. So, I mean, I think the, primarily the thing people did with the Everest was, oh, y'all are so right on the timing. Good call. Wow. Okay. Well, there we go. Carps for trolling and Yama. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be fine on Yama. That's, you know, people use smaller than that on Yama. Mm-hmm. You're wanting the one that's at the moment that's hot at, I think it's this one, right? Is this the one people are using at, um, Archie? The 0405? Also, like if you're going to get a lure, don't you at least want to get one of these, the 75F006? I mean, this has been a good lure for so long, right? Even even if you look at like Corey Weeklies, um, just kind of all over the place, I feel like you often see this lure show up. Yeah, sounds good, Keeler. Oh, you already have several of these? Okay, well, that's good. Just making sure. I mean, I feel like if somebody doesn't have any handmaids and you're trying to figure out what to get, that one's at least got to be in the consideration. What time is it? 16? I, I want to keep fishing here, but I also need to take a quick bio break. So let me do that now before it gets any later. I'll be right back. Yeah, pink and brown. That's right. What do you need to buy it? I'll leave it on there so you can see it while I'm taking a quick bio break. Don't worry about hooks now. They've taken the hook requirement out. So just sandpaper, paints, steel wire, and the big one is the balsa block that you get from winding.
Yeah, Hain. If Avia, if Avia is upgraded to 20, at that point, aren't you just good if you're talking about carp reels? I agree with that. And that's a huge savings over saving all the way up to Tagara's. I mean, I think that's a viable option, you know? Now, what you need to do is talk to um, talk to Wrangler, talk to, I don't know if Rift is still around. You got to find some of the guys that have been around, well, as long as I have, but I was lower level back then. But some of those guys like Wrangler and Rift and some of the other guys that I just can't think of off the top of my head, but they actually used the Everest back in the day and then compared it with the newer reels when it came out. That's who you need to talk to. I'm not telling you what's wrong with the Everest because frankly, I'm just not the best person to, I'm not gonna, I have used the Everest because Wrangler gave me his old Everest, but there are people that used it back when it was the only thing available and then can do a better comparison. They used it a lot and they can do a better comparison of what's available out there now. Mostly what you're going to hear from people is just is just what they've heard about the Everest because most people that have only been playing the last couple of years or whatever, they didn't get the Everest. I mean, there aren't many people who buy the Everest these days. So direct hand experience isn't going to be as much as, you know, if you find an older player. Oh, is that who makes Everest his trident? This is what we're talking about, by the way. The Everest 2 spinning reel. How much does it cost, Jantori? I mean, that's my only thing is like, 
I, I just would hate for somebody to spend that kind of silver on it without at least knowing the comparables and um, making an informed decision. I mean, it's still 20 something thousand silver, right? No. That's not right. Is it 12,000 silver? What is it? Thank you. 11K. Okay. So is that cheaper than the Avia? I need to get the, the uh, spreadsheet out real quick. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Like, if you really want to go with that price range, why wouldn't you get the Avia and upgrade? And then you've got a much bigger, much bigger spool, right? I mean, my thing is, I have literally been spooled at Amber. Now, I had mono line on, but still, on a Megara, which is a ginormous spool, right? Doesn't that... Um, doesn't that, isn't that worth at least considering going that route? Let me pull this up so I can look at it while we're fishing. All right, I'll check out the Admiral as well. Real sheet. I should probably do this overnight when it dies down. All right. The Everest 2 is 11,320 silver, and its spool size is 178. It's almost as small as the Natura, which is, I think, the smallest in class. Although the Admiral is only a little bigger. The Admiral has... Why is the Admiral more expensive oh it's got much higher drag oh i gotcha yeah so the admiral is kind of like a higher end version i mean it's really strong but again small spool i mean they're they're kind of similar at least just looking at the It just depends on what we're talking about. Either one of those reels are going to be strong enough for carp fishing in almost any situation. The only thing that worries me a little bit is the spool size, but if you're using braided line, you're still probably okay. But if it was me personally, and I was trying to not go all the way up to... 20k silver on a carp reel I think I would take a long look at the Avia upgraded or if you really want to go cheap just suffer through with the calibers you know it's just going to take longer to get some fish in but you can do it Tagara 8k and Everest. All right, so the Tagara 8K is 3,000 more. It's got a bigger spool. It's one kilo stronger on rated drag. It's got a heavier mech. And it's got a different gear ratio. So is all that worth 3,300 more silver? I don't know, but I mean, if you talk to anybody shouldn't say anybody but almost anyone and you tell them I'm thinking about getting the Tagara 8000 they will immediately say don't do it save up for the Tagara 10,000 not that you have to do that but that's certainly what you'll hear 
All right, I'm going back down to retrieval speed 35. We are literally retrieval speeding at 50, and the Arctic Graylings are chasing it and can't catch up. Uh, I think I missed it. Zakuda, thanks for the follow. And uh, Siapla, thanks for the follow. Mm -hmm. RF4 is my favorite fishing game. It's not even close. But other fishing games have have their place for me for sure. I mean, I enjoy a range of fishing games, but it's it, in terms of my favorite, it's not even close. Oh, that's awesome, Trophy Hunter. That's that's a really good testimonial for the Avia. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, there's that trophy Arctic Grayling. So not much else. That would be a nice, easy Eastern Bream order if you had a, a, even a reasonable spot. Kind of some weird orders right now, though. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I have heard that from other people too, though, that the upgraded reels are more expensive to repair. Hey, we caught a fish at this late at night. You're thinking about upgrading your SLC? Interesting. I agree with that, Dave. Variety and competition is always a good thing. I think the angler just, you know, if it ends up being as, as good as we hope it will be, I think it just clearly almost fits into a different category of fishing game. The strengths and the focus of that game, I think, are pretty different than this one. If it ends up being as good as we hope. My understanding is that it will not have carp in it at launch. It is also my understanding that it will not have bottom fishing in it at launch. But if it sells well, it seems like there are plans to add new maps. And though I don't know if it's been confirmed or not, you would assume that carp and bottom fishing could potentially be a part of its future. It will be geared a different way, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, um, I am skeptical of how they're doing the um, economy in that game. I mean, I hope it's good. I hope it's, you know, but I'm skeptical at this point.
I do think it has a chance though to allow you to get connected to your own character in a way that most fishing games don't allow or don't promote because so much more of it will be you know interacting with uh, quest givers, the warden, the the person that works at the gear shop. Um, it looks like there's going to be, you know, I mean, typically there is cosmetic gear in those um, expansive world games. And so much more of the game will be about the open world and traversing it that I think it's possible that like you could have a connection with your character that's just a little different than is the case in most fishing games. Well, and to be fair, Expansive Worlds typically does tweak stuff. They usually do listen to their customer feedback. And um, I agree. I, th I expect, given the, the engine they're using, I expect it will be a beautiful game. Did you see those waterfalls? Like, I think it's going to look nice. Question is, will it be fun to fish? All right, let's let this spot rest for a minute and walk up to 14. Correct, Choke. Hunter Call of the Wild. Or the Call of the Wild the Angler? Is that what they settled on? Call of the Wild the Angler? Let's let that spot rest for a bit until it gets to about 3 a.m. or so, and then we'll go just fish a little bit more and figure out what we're going to do next. Here's the 114 spot, right? It's funny, people like hanging out over on the premiere of that new uh, video that I posted on YouTube from our stream yesterday. It seems like they're pretty confused about like the premiere versus like some folks think that I'm live streaming on YouTube right now. Yeah, that sounds right, Dave. Yeah, but there is going to be a built-in audience of the people that really enjoy their hunting game. You're right. Those folks are going to... Those folks are going to, like, eat it up, I think. I, don't, I wouldn't even know about how to go about doing that hub to be completely transparent when the game was first announced I did send an email with info about our channel and stuff to their press email or whatever but I never got a reply so I mean if you have any information about like who to contact or what to do like I'm totally open to that I would love to do testing with the angler or feature it on the channel on our YouTube channel or whatever, but I really just don't have any contacts and I'm not like so worried about it that I did anything past that initial email, you know? Do you have 
a link or link to their Discord page. Uh, if you can whisper it to me, I'll post it if, if anybody, anybody else is interested. We're still catching fish here. They're just not very good in the middle of the night. But it seems like it's a little more active than Belaya usually is for me at night. I could see them wanting to rely a little bit more on their Call of Wild the Hunter content creators, though. I mean, it just depends on what their attitude about it is, but like, I do <laughs> primarily create content for a game that they may consider a rival. I don't know. So it just depends. All right, let me see if I can find it. I don't know if... All right, I think I found it. This is the Hunter official channel. Is that does that sound right? Um, okay. Rules, got it. Choose your roles. I don't care about that. Uh, Steam. Sure. Okay. And then Become a creator. Okay.
Discord username and ID. Sorry, folks. I'm just uh, trying to fill this out real quick. It's 3.30 in the morning, but we need to be fishing. Let's go down to this other spot. I'll continue to work on it as I can. Um, Dom says, when are you going to play on there? Oh, really? Wait. Is this specifically... Uh, okay. Maybe I'm on the specifically um hunter thing do they not have a uh i can't tell if this is for all their stuff or if what i'm applying for is just for the hunter i'll look at it later I'll look at it later. Sorry, you got to whisper it to me. Oh, nice, terrible. Trophy sturgeon on an HSV. Man, that must have been exciting. Did you just like keep it in front of you or something? That's crazy. Yeah, hub, you got to whisper it to me. Unless there's a way, can I give you permission to post it? I don't know how that works. All right, the Arctics are waking up. All right. Let me see. I'm going to whisper you. Let me see if that helps. Sometimes just replying to the whisper is easier. So let's see. If I click on your name and then I click whisper, a little box comes up. And then it allows me to whisper you. Yeah. Hey, Amar. Yeah, tofu. Any grayling that's a marker is a good fish. Especially when the, uh... oh goodness, it's its own thing. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. No, I see it now. Great. All right, I'm going to close out this hunter one because I'm assuming there's, yeah, awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much. That's actually awesome. Wait, the ascent. Which one is the ascent? You've had two trophies in a row. Wait, what are you talking about? Here? Where are you? Are you in chat? Can I see which ones you caught? I do need to hydrate, Dom.
You got a trophy bream followed by a trophy Chinese sleeper. That's actually awesome. What does Kraken 22 T, T mean, Amar? Um, I, let me look up what the ascent is. I think I know what that is. And to answer your question, I'm not sure. 22 ton. Um, I should be around tonight. I was planning on playing um, once, like, once my wife goes to bed or I'm not watching the Braves. I was planning on playing either No Man's Sky or something like that, but I might be able to play a little Ascent. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I just don't know. Do I have that game? Do I even have the Ascent? Was that on Epic or something? What's up, BZ Hub? Thanks for uh, thanks for the link. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. All right, do you have it on Steam, Amar? I think I know what game you're talking about, though. Isn't that the one I watched you play a little bit of? Top down, sci-fi ish. Had a story. I don't think I have this game. Is there some reason why I would have it on Epic? I don't think I have it there either. I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I watched you play it. I never played this. I watched you and Lion play it. It looked okay to me. Oh, maybe I did try it on Game Pass. Maybe that's where... I, I feel like I might have tried it one night. I do not have Game Pass anymore either, though. You're after a trophy eyed? Oh, interesting. I'm happy to come hang out though. I mean, I'll come chat with you all or whatever. I just don't know that I really feel like playing it. Ooh, there we go. Another grayling. The graylings are here. The graylings are real. I actually haven't hung out with Draka uh, voice chat in a long time, so that'd be fun. It was an Arctic. We don't really want to see a big Arctic in this spot. Same with the Timon, just because of the the room to run. He misses me. I'm a bit of a recluse when I'm not streaming. Let's be fair. All right, chat, what do y'all think? Should we go try trolling at Archie for a little bit after this? Does that sound fun? Before we get to our, um, back to our, uh, our leveling guide. Oh, for sure. Yeah, this spot is really active. Although I just, you know, kind of want to mix it up after a little while. Once we get to like 10, 11 a.m., I'll feel like we have been here about 24 hours and might be good to try something different.
Congrats on level four, uh, Rivalka. zero bottom percent skill what what's your percentage right now Dom I'm just trying to oh my goodness let's we'll see if we can talk him into swimming upstream I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, and you're trying to hit 60 right If this is another time in, then like that's gonna probably time me out of this spot. <laughs> oh, we did get him to swim upstream though, guys. This is like perfect. Did he just jump? No, don't come back down. Don't come back down here, please. Pretty sure you jumped out of the water. What's up, Andy? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't remember them used to ever jumping out of the water. So if it happens at all, that's more than I remember it happening in the past. It still doesn't, it still doesn't seem like it happens very often. Yeah, no, you're probably right, William. I, I don't know. I don't know that there's any other possibility at this point, but... I do think it's smaller than the last one because I did move my leader back down to 6.2 or whatever. And this doesn't feel quite as big as the last one, but it's still probably a timing. That would be cool if it's an Arctic char because it could at least be worth a couple silver, but... just kind of wearing himself out in the current right now which I guess I don't mind Yeah, just mail it to me. It's just M Dog M D A W G, and just make sure you tell me which lure you want. I will craft it on stream for you.
we don't really want to be pulling him upstream, so let's just switch places with him real quick. My goodness that moment when it's not a time and oh Take that. <laughs> nice timing, they said. <laughs> nice timing, they said. So that was a weekly record brown trout and weekly record UL brown trout. Nice. Challenge. Whoa. Thank you, Jake. Challenge accepted. Thanks for gifting a sub to Gonzo. Greetings. Welcome to both of you. Hope you all are doing well today. So happy to see you uh, streaming again yesterday, Jake. Y'all go follow Jake if you haven't already. I don't think my shout out command is working, so I'll just manually post it here in a second. No, blue, I think blue just means it has some sort of stat bonus on it. Am I right about that, chat? I don't think you can safely say that the, all of the blue ones are ultralight rods. Anything for you, princess? It's another pretty good fish here. Now we want this one to be the Arctic Grayling, just since we're gonna be a little greedy today. Come on, just show your face for a second so we know what we're dealing with. You're not really strong enough to get away from us. Pop it up, poke your head up. I can see the shadow. Uh, I think that's another brown trout, right? Yeah, it's a nice one. That's funny, Keeler. You and I are going to be switching places. I'm going to Arch, you're going to here. Um, yeah, thank you, Jantori. So the blue rod, some sort of stat bonus. So Shirk says, hey, I have saved up some silver. Wow, the brown trout are really active right now. Challenge. Should I buy a Sputnik? Challenge accepted. Wow, Seismic, y'all are so generous today. Gives five subs to the community. Amar, Loomis, Rouge, uh, Jabba, and Keeler. Keel, thank you so much, Seismic. Y'all do not have to do that, but I really appreciate the support. Thank you. Uh, this is a handmade lure, Keeler. Challenge. But definitely don't let that scare you away. I mean... Challenge accepted. I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that if I look up the weekly brown trout right now... It's not just going to be this little handmade thing. So you've got the normal, really the normal things you would expect. The, the Popper 4F006, which is always terrific in this spot. A couple different colors. And then, of course, a couple of spikers. Challenge. 
can't go long can't go wrong really the thing that had me trying this particular handmade lure though was the linic that was caught here i believe a um what is it is it sharp i always forget yeah sharp snouted linic yeah a blue tag linic was caught here on this spinner bait but again really nice linux on the poppers as well you might even have a better bite rate on that popper to be completely honest challenge oh that's awesome loomis challenge accepted but thank you again seismic thank you so much Yes, if you send me ingredients. Sorry, folks. I just, if I made lures for everybody that asked for them, I, that's all I would be doing. <laughs> uh, but if you send me ingredients, I will do it. <laughs> uh, Beluga, what's up? Scrolls, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, sure. I mean, I can go look at the store in a minute here and try to give you some some advice. I mean, Sputnik 4000, Adriatica 5000. Are these for bream or what are you, what are you targeting with these? Are you trying to ease into trolling at Cory? Basic feeder sets. All right, let me try one more caster. Yeah, it's really good, Beluga. I mean, it's been fun. It's been a pretty active bite rate. Um, this and the 114 spot. And uh, good mix of good mix of uh, graylings primarily, I guess. We had the brown trout trophy, few linic. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of timing as well. This one took a while, but it's not been bad. It's not been bad. All right, let's see. Um, first of all, let's check the the Archie weather. This does matter. Oh, that seems good. This actually seems like a pretty good time. A little bit of wind, but but not unbearable. So this this is probably a good plan. No, the rod needs to be biggest, Keeler. You'll end up snapping your rod if you do that. All right. No, nah, it's all right. Sputnik 4000. Let me see where that is. You're talking about this one, right? All right, so you're comparing a 5.5, 249 silver to the Adriatica 5000. Oh my goodness. You're getting a lot more strength out of the Adriatica. So you're just kind of in a weird spot, right? These are sort of like in between reels, I would say at this point. They're not quite strong enough to troll Corey. And honestly, this is a little more than you need for Bream, but it's, you know, comfortable. Um, don't forget about the kits. 
uh, I mean, you, you may have already like, I don't know if you used the, um, the feeder start kit, but really good value here, this four kilo. Um, and then this one is not terrible either. If you do want to upgrade, some people really like it. I feel like this one is again in a sort of in-between spot because technically the starter one, you can catch trophy bream on this. You can upgrade these if you want to, but either way you can, you can catch trophy bream on this, on these Lacerdes. So it just depends on what you want to do. There's no right answer. Um, some people are going to tell you it's a waste to skip this level to save to something stronger. Um, but you should do what's fun for you. And if you want to go ahead and upgrade now, it's not like this is that much silver. Ultimately, I suppose if I was choosing between these two, I would go with the Adriatica because to me, this doesn't feel that much stronger than the, the, the Lacerti, which I'm assuming you have, you may not have it. So if you don't have it, I guess that's a different discussion. But if you have the Lacerti, which is upgradable, then why go for this one that's so close, right? What do y'all think, chat? That's just my initial thoughts, at least. Y'all may have different advice, which is totally fine. Remember, we will be, uh, no, no hooks. All right. Balsa Minnow, pink and brown, okay. All right, so let me uh, let me craft it for you on stream here, real quick. Lure balsamino seventy five pink and brown. I guess I need to confirm. Is this what you're wanting? The seventy five F 6 Hey, no worries, no worries. Oh yeah, there's some good advice in chat. Make sure you're reading what people are saying in there. And again, no one has the exact answer, right? It's just different, different things to think about. There's lots of ways to skin a cat, but I don't know why we say that. That's a weird expression. There's lots of ways to uh, go about progressing. <laughs> All right, let's see what you get here. All right, you got a nine out of 10 and a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 will do it. That'll catch the fish. Nine out of 10. I think I'm going to finish the day, do a little bit more UL here before we move to, um, before we move to, uh, Archie. Let me ask the question here though. Um, what is the, for any of you who have been fishing at Archie, is there, Trying to figure out if um, what was the spot I saw? Oh yeah, up here. Does this look right? Is this where y'all would fish right now at Archie? In this like um, two column, looks like it's about D to F kind of thing. Does anybody know if that's a good one? How's it working, Blunny? It's really good okay yeah Dom that one's pink and brown surely that was the right one he said yes when I asked him c2 to e2 b4 
because skinning a <laughs> Jake because skinning a dog just isn't right. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What hook should you put on those lures? Somewhat depending on where you're going to be fishing. But I think a lot of people use one knots on them. Um, or even bigger sometimes. Yeah, upgrading Lacerti for Bream is definitely, it's definitely good. Let's see what I've got on those right now. So I've got one knots on that one. Same with that. Twos on that. I think there's three knots on that one. Like at Archie, sometimes we go all the way up to three knot, right? Two knots on that. So just different different ones. Sometimes fluff is better. Again, porting according to where you're fishing at. Just kind of try different things. What's the best money making method for level 22? I mean, really that kind of question is tough because it's changing all the time, right? There's always new spots po popping up. Things are changing. Um, I mean, a lot of times trolling can be really good at your level. Still fishing for bream if it's a hot spot. According to what gear you have, you might be easing into carp fishing, but it's probably a little early for carp fishing for you. So it just kind of depends. Yeah, no worries, no worries, John. But I would just kind of look around either on the BK site or, you know, in community chat, see what, uh, what spots are popping up. I can link you the, um, Blunty's been working on a uh, really helpful spreadsheet that has good info on it and also I can link you to the different BK sites and stuff. And it is right here. I've been using this a lot lately. Yeah, that's good advice, Gelder. That's typically the best advice, to be honest. Sounds good. Oh, in that case, um, I think it, 
if it was me, I would at least try the carp at Old Berg right now. There's that spot at whatever it is, 67 or whatever. 2167 maybe? I don't know what it is, but if you're wanting to do some carp fishing at your level, that would be a good spot. You just got to figure out how to make it work without PVA and still be um, worthwhile. So if you have some way of feeding the water with ground bait or spot, or probably not spot at your level, but ground bait uh, or something like that, that might help using a little bit smaller baits than what the biggest fish are coming in to try to increase your bite rate would also be smart probably. Uh, thank you for the follow scrolls and P4 ULY. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the stream. You don't understand the spot and spam. Ooh, there's another Linux. I like to see that. Um, so the, let's see which one we have on the spod is for smaller particles so pellets smaller things the spam is for larger particles so you know if you're putting straight boilies in there or just the larger size stuff that's what they tell us at least we've only been working under that in, with that information i think for the last couple months or so or maybe since that i don't know i can't remember exactly when that info came to us but oh sorry 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 dave i got you don't underestimate yeah yeah my only thing was if he's level two i was just wondering if he has that unlocked yet right sorry about that dave the short nose lincoln I've heard Jake say that before. I mean, people were catching stuff earlier today pretty good at Old Berg. Are we sure it's not just the weather or something right now? Yeah, I agree with that, Dave. That made a huge difference for me, like till I got PVA unlocked after Amber had first come out when I started using the spot or spawn stuff, I did notice a pretty big change. <laughs> That's awesome, Gonzo. Oh, well that nickname has stuck. I mean, I still think of it that way sometimes. There you go, Kefius. If only Gonzo knew English. Come on now. Is that a baby Timon? It is. We were lucky this time. That was a lucky Timon, wasn't it, Blenny? Yeah, I am. 
Oh, that's a good question. I think it's actually the Fortuna one, but let me check. I can't imagine that there's a whole lot of difference unless you're trying to like spot really far off places. No, I've actually got the Percy. So that's probably the cheapest one, right? It's 3.9 liter mink, uh, 3.9 meter length test up to 160. Which I've never had an issue with test. Maybe that's a consideration though. Has anybody ever wanted to, to, to spawn or something with more than 160 grams? That might be the only like consideration. I would expect that the more expensive ones could possibly cast a little farther or something. What? I don't think I knew that, Lenty. Is that real? Is that for reals? That is really cool. That is actually really cool. Can you do it with any carp rod? Huh. So if you happen to have a fourth carp rod, for some reason, just sub it in. I mean, if you only have three, then yeah, it's going to be some work, but... Oh, right. So you actually have to put one of your carp rods away and then pull that one out because you can only have three out at a time. That's interesting. Hey, there's another uh, Lincoln. One point four. I've always just closed the reel and let it sit there for a minute. I'm, I'm not exactly sure like how long is required or whatever, but just to be on the safe side, that's typically what I've done. cast if we don't get anything here we'll start preparing to move on all rockets empty immediately so you don't need to leave them in at all blunty just reel them in right after they hit sure there's no translation issue there man really easy brown trout order so if you're here fishing the, the little river over there 
don't miss out on that 83 silver. That's pretty awesome. Trophy perch, nice. Four, I mean, sorry, 546 silver plus the cafe order. 407 without the trophy. Either way, not too bad. Could I catch a burbot with Lacerdi upgrade or is it too light? Um, it depends on the size of the burbot, but big burbot, I think that might be tough. All right, I need to think about what we're... We gotta set this up real quick. So y'all are saying the 004 and the 